It might sound crazy, reversing the flow of an entire river system running through the heart of one of the nation's largest cities in the name of environmental protection. But it's happened before, in Chicago. In the city's early days, raw sewage and industrial waste was dumped into the Chicago River, which sent the sluggish flow into Lake Michigan. But the city also used the lake for its drinking water. So the approach wasn't just gross, it was deadly. So city officials reversed the river. They dug a channel at the headwaters of the river that sent all of the waste west, out of the Great Lakes watershed, into the Mississippi River Basin, and ultimately down to the Gulf of Mexico. For the next 100 years, the canal system was considered an environmental and economic success. It created a navigation corridor that increased shipping and ensured an abundant, safe drinking water supply for Chicagoland. But this 19th century ecological fix has become big trouble in the 21st century because the canal is now recognized as a superhighway for invasive species. Not just the Asian carp, but 37 other invaders, from the bloody red shrimp to the sea lamprey, to the northern snakehead. They are all poised to use the canal to invade fresh waters. And it's not just a highway into the Great Lakes. Many invasive species threaten to go the other way, spilling from the Great Lakes into the Mississippi Basin, which spreads across almost half the landmass of the lower 48 states. Zebra and quagga mussels, known to hitch onto the hull of boats, have already ridden the canal out of the Great Lakes and have done billions of dollars in pipe-clogging damage across the continent. From catfish farms in Arkansas to the Great Lakes' multi-billion dollar fishery, species using the canal to launch an invasion pose a massive economic threat. Now, some are calling for the canal system to be plugged at key spots. This would reinstate the natural divide between the two basins and stop the damaging flow of species between the two. As a result, a portion of Chicago's treated sewage would once again flow into Lake Michigan. But advances in sewage treatment over the last hundred years could make this a reality without harming Lake Michigan. Barge traffic could be accommodated by a state-of-the-art transfer facility that would allow cargo, but not invasive species, to bypass the barriers. And Chicago, which engineered itself into the Mississippi Basin with the opening of the canal, would once again become a Great Lakes city.